In good health, researchers at the University of Michigan are taking a major step in hopes of advancing the development of prosthetic legs. They're making the design for their bionic limb available for free to anyone who wants it. This video from Michigan Engineering shows the artificially intelligent prosthetic leg in action. It was designed by researchers at U of M and the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab, but it's not just staying there. If you want to get something out of the lab and help people with disabilities, and it doesn't look like an academic publication, it looks like access, and that's what we're going for. The biggest challenge with a bionic leg is control, but there's a problem. Each researcher develops their own hardware first. So everybody's testing on a different system. So when people are publishing, hey, look at this control strategy, I could do this, it's very difficult for people to replicate it because they don't have that hardware. Making the plans available will allow researchers to avoid the time and expense of developing that hardware. We have created opensourceleg.com to kind of unite this fragmented field of controlled prosthetic legs. So there's a bill of materials which explains like where to get them to the vendor and a price. The design files are there to download along with how-to videos for assembly. The website's open to anybody. We already right now have five collaborators who are using these and test their control strategies. So like within a very, very small amount of time, we've gotten a lot of impact and a lot of interest. And there are many open source designs available for prosthetic hands and arms, but this is the first leg design to be shared. It costs about $28,000 to build the full bionic limb. And while it is intended for research, not for patients to build on their own, patients are heavily involved in providing feedback and improving the design.